Our next guests say LEDs are the future of lighting, and here to break it down for you so that you can understand it is Dave Director and Jim Meltzer from the Connecticut Lighting Centers. How are you doing? Steve, how are you? Good, good, good. good. All right, now, Dave, you're, you are an excitable guy, but I think now this LED thing has really got you on a roll. What's going on with LEDs? Well, I, I, I think it's pretty amazing. I think um, this is probably going to be the biggest thing in my lifetime uh -huh. uh, of any kind of technological change. Here you have a bulb that's been around since Thomas Edison. Yep. Um, and now you have an LED bulb that look just the same, uh -huh. will perform um, 8 watts versus 60 watts. Tell me lifespan between these two, the old style versus the new style. So 50,000 hours versus 6 to 800 hours. 6 to 800, 50,000. 50, and that's 50,000 running all the time. So basically, you're going to buy a light bulb in most households, and you're going to have that bulb for most of your life, or most of the time you're going to be in that home. Just go there, you Never got change it, it, and you're all set. What else do we have to show the folks? Well, if you take a look at this, typically in like your outdoor lights or your dining room chandelier, uh -huh. you have your candle base bulb. Here you see a 40 watt bulb. Here you see a 2.1 watt bulb. 40 oh. watt versus 2.1, same right. type of light. Same type of light and huh? same type of life. Mm -hmm. But at two watts, if you had two of these running in your outdoor fixture all night, negligible. There's like no draw. So again, exactly. saving energy. Correct. Keeping that bill down. And they also have the frosted version, which shows better. Mm -hmm. So it has a little more attractive for the where the bulb is visible. And I think just as important is the environment. I mean, think about what it takes to make so many bulbs versus you're going to now have a bulb that is really, um, you are going to cut the usage on, and the pollution to make all of these light bulbs by an incredible amount. Mm -hmm. Now, what else have you brought along here? What we did is we brought um, some under cabinet lights to show today um, what's going on in under cabinet lighting. Um, through the use of LED, again, um, from a wattage standpoint, um, you have a tremendous savings in wattage. You have now 50,000 hours. Again, a xenon lamp. Xenon about 2,000 hours. But you're looking at 36 watts for this little two lighter. 36, yeah. Versus six watts for, for that one. And the light is actually better from the LED than this. It's cooler, so you don't cook anything that's in your upper cabinets above the under cabinet right. lighting anymore. Got to be a lot safer, too. And also, same thing. You come down in the morning and you went, oh, I left the lights on. So what? Six watts is like, don't even recognize that it burned. But again, something really important that we, we want to get across is that there's certain product today that is available in LED. There are other products that are on the market that we at Connecticut Lighting Centers won't support yet. Yeah. Um, the A lamp is a good example. Okay. We think that um, 60 to 90 days from today, that bulb will be available. You know, we're, we're um, in partners with companies who we believe in and that it's really important for us, if we're going to have that bulb, we want to be able to warranty that bulb through Connecticut Lighting, not through a third party right. or, or feel good about what we're selling. We can do that in reflector bulbs, bulbs that are used in recessed lights. Okay. We can do that. In an A-lamp today, we think the price is too high. It's okay. not there yet. 60 to 90 days, that's how quick it's happening. Um, it will be there. For a quality product. For a quality uh -huh. because product. Because unfortunately, there are products on the market today that don't have the quality. Okay. Well, come on, Connecticut Lighting, how many years you guys been around? We've been around since 1972. Yeah, so you don't really have to worry about the quality. We know where you are, we know where to find you, and we know where you're, where you're going in the future, right? My son's <laughs> joining the organization quickly, and it was so your yes. And it was your dad, right? Absolutely. All right? Yep. And then you, and now yep. your son coming yes, on? Yes, absolutely. What a great success story. Of course, I love to go over to restoration uh, lighting over there. That's incredible. It's fun. Yeah. And we're integrating all of this LED technology into all of these lights from the 18 and 1900s. Now, what, what about as far as if you're trying to, to redo an old lamp, can you put it in with today's technology? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And, and one of the other very neat things now, this has been on for a couple hours now. Yeah. But if you notice, it just screws right in, okay. just like a regular light bulb. Uh -huh. And if you reach over and feel it, nothing. It's very cool to very the touch. Cool. All right, what about these long strips of lights that we have here, Dave? What's going on there? Well, I'll, I'll let Jim talk yeah. about those. Okay. This is one of the neatest innovations yet that they've come up with. It's actually ribbon LED. It's cuttable. It's flexible. It has an unbelievable light output. And again, very, very low watt consumption. Okay. So it costs very little to operate. Gives off very even lighting and can be multitasked in so many different ways. Is this something ways. like you'd wrap around your deck or something? Eh? You could, they it do can be make used an, yep. indoors, it can be used outdoors, and think about almost any application where you want to get light. It is so small, two-sided tape, 
um, it's so small it can go anywhere. And that's the, the, the beauty of LED is that you're taking microchip technology, so it's not the lighting, it's the lighting industry and microchips, and now all of a sudden you have light and, and the efficiency of light, and we can put light anywhere we want. This is the beginning of the future of where lighting is going. All right, Dave. Thank you. Jim. Steve. Connecticut Lighting Centers, we put the